Hey everyone, this is Just Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I have some exciting new update regarding the iCloud Bypass iOS 15 with more devices support in the HFZ latest version that is the version 3. Last time on my channel, I have uploaded this video on the HFZ version 2 but the new version has been released today with new changes. In this video, I will show you how you can bypass the iCloud activation lock screen on the iOS 15 without jailbreak. I will show you the complete steps like how you can perform it on your iPhones and the iPad. There are other iPad models that are supported are added in this new version of the tool. If you guys are on my Telegram channel or group, you already know about this latest update I have already posted in my group. So you will get all the information there. I have posted the new devices list in that the iPad 6 and 7 generation are supported on iOS 15 and only require the lightning cable. So no need of DSDC cable for those models. Also the iPhone AC 3rd generation are also added without DSDC cable. If you following the older update, you know the iPhone 6s to iPhone X are supported and iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 4 and iPad 5th generation are also supported but that required the DSDC cable. But with this new latest 3.0 update, there are some iPad that is added and the iPhone SE 1st generation without DSDC cable. So I will show you how you can bypass it with this latest version of tool. So let me just go to my computer screen and then I will show you the step by step process. So the first requirement is Mac operating system as the tool is for Mac or if you are a Windows user you can install the Hackintosh and then you can use it. If you don't know how to install the Mac on Windows check out my videos from the description it will help you out. Now you will require the HFZ version 3 check in patch version and to change the serial you will require the purple pro or you can use the alternate magic cfg 1.3 so to download all this just check out the description you will get my blogspot link or you can directly go there and download all the latest tool also you will require the dependency file so i will also give that link so first you can just install the software Now next you need to install the dependency, it's very important if you are running the tool first time on your Mac you can install all this dependency but if you are using old version also and you are already installed this dependency you can ignore this part. So you will require to install the homebrew and other libusb drivers. So you can copy and paste the command one by one. After that it will install. Now just paste this command and enter your Mac password. After that hit on enter. Now next install the homebrew command. So just follow me one by one, you can copy and paste it on the terminal and it will install easily. Now after that you will get three more commands. Now just copy one by one and paste it on the terminal. On the sum command you will get some warnings or error, so you can ignore that. So now here you get two errors or some warnings. If you get it, just ignore that. Just proceed to the another command and install it. So sometime if your PC already installed the dependency and you install it again, it might be not get overwrite and sometimes you will face some errors and warning. So you can ignore that. I will show you how you can fix all these errors in the end. Now the second command is also installed. So now just paste it the third command. Now we have installed all this dependency to verify the errors and fix all that you need to just run this preview doctor. This will help you to fix all the commands and show you all the required commands are installed or not. As you can see all the things are done very well and you will get some warning so you can just ignore that. We have successfully installed all the dependency. Next thing you will require to restart your computer as it's very important to take all the dependency effect. Now I restart my system and you can see that the tool is working perfect. Now we are ready to move for the further process. Now after that you need to connect your device. Now on the tool you will see your device details like ECID number and the model number. Now you need to register your ECID first. To register that you need to go to my blog or you can contact me on my social media handle. You will get direct links from my blog. 
you will get all the social media handles that are official like telegram instagram facebook twitter so you can contact me there and register your ecid i will show you the official price list on the screen so you can check out according to the model now after you register your ecid you are ready to use the tool now you can reconnect your device and now you need to check the serial first so click on the serial check button now it will show you the new serial so just copy it it will help you in the further process now the serial has been copied now you need to put your device into the dfu mode so that we can get on the purple mode and change the serial so for that we will use the check rain patch version so if you directly connect with the checkrin patch version you will get some trigger error or lockdown error so for that you need to first put your device into the recovery mode and then connect with the checkrin patch to proceed for the dfu we can also put directly your device into dfu mode but some user face issue while putting your device into the clean dfu mode so that's why we will use the checkrin patch version now you can see that my device is connected in the recovery mode and close the check rent patch and open it again and you will get some errors again so you can reconnect your device in order to remove that error so now you can see we have successfully removed all the errors now you can proceed further now you need to put your device into the dfu mode normally like the instruction given on the check rent screen once your device is get into the recovery mode you need to quit the check rent app immediately so you need to be very quick in this if you fail for the first time you can try it again so now you can see my devices get into the dfu mode and i have just closed the check run app now once your device will into the dfu mode you will see the purple mode serial change button is highlighted just click on that now you need to run the checkmate exploit so click on that button and it will boot your device and boot the checkmate on your device and exploit it so just wait for it now you can see we have successfully exploited our device and just wait for 5 to 10 seconds again and it will boot your device now on here you will see if you have a iphone 8 8 plus and iphone x like a11 devices your device will automatically get into the purple mode so you can use and change the serial directly but if you have a iphone 7 7 plus you might get the black screen now after that the next step is you need to click on the purple pro option It will download the Purple Pro software automatically on your desktop. It will take around five to ten minutes, or it depends on your internet speed, so that it will download the package on your desktop automatically. Now it's done. Now you can see that the zip file has been downloaded on the desktop. Just double click on that; it will extract the Purple Pro software. You can use this, and there is a another alternate software. of this that is the magic cfg 1.3 it is the latest version of the purple pro so you can use that also or the purple pro both are working so if your device is iphone 8 8 plus and iphone x after the purple pro serial change option your device will automatically go into the purple mode and you can directly change your serial number but for the iphone 7 7 plus you might have to manually put your device into the purple mode so just click on that it will open the tool and close the chipset automatically now you need to on your device again or you can directly put your device into the dfu mode so i recommend you to on your device again and then move further and to on your device you need to press the volume down button and the side wake up button for the 10 to 15 second it will on now connect with the check rent patch again put your device into the recovery mode and then dfu mode as we did in the last time so you have to follow the same process again now the recovery mode is done now you need to put your device into dfu mode again and close the check rent app immediately after your device will get into the dfu mode so just follow the same process Now the purple pro will detect your device into the dfu mode so click on that button now if you see any error like exploit failed just try it again and it will work now you will see your device is getting into the purple mode and you will get some color change on your device so do not disconnect it if the itunes pop up you can close it after that edit the serial now you will see the usb modem now this is the port of your device now click on the connect If your port is not showing you can retry the process and it will show now connect and read now you will get the serial number you can replace it with the new one now click on write 
After that, click on Reboot to iOS. Now your device will restart automatically. After that, if you want to use the Magic CFG, you can use that. If the Purple Pro is not working for you, you can use the latest Magic CFG 1.3. This software will do the same process, so nothing change. You need to go to this button and after that put your device into DFU mode and Purple Pro. After that, change the serial number. So all the process is same for both the tools. Now your device is on again, you can confirm the serial number, it's changed now. Next you need to open the HFZ tool again, this time you need to click on serial check again and you will see the done message that means the serial has been changed. Now you need to move further, now you need to put your device again into the DFU mode. So follow the same process, open the check and patch app, put your device into the recovery mode and then DFU. And most of you are thinking why we are using the check print patch for DFU stuff. We can do the manual method also like put our device into DFU mode directly. We don't need to use the check print patch. But the answer is for the clean DFU, the check print patch will work better. So you can use this. If you know how to put our device into DFU mode directly, you can try that also. But I recommend you to use the patch version for the clean DFU process. Now the DFU is done. If the iTunes pop up, you can close it. Now you need to boot your device. You can select the normal boot. If any error come, you can select the alternate boot too and then boot it. Now run checkmate. Now wait for it to boot complete. Now we have successfully exploited the device. Now click on OK. Now your tool will sending the important files to the device. So make sure your internet speed is good or you can connect with the fast Wi-Fi. Now the device is successfully booted with the checkmate exploit. Now click on OK. Next part is to confirm the SSH check connection. Now click on that and wait for it to get the SSH connected. Now this also done. Now click on OK and this time you will see one another iOS 15 hello no signal button is highlighted. So this is the last step. Just click on OK. And also your device will get a reboot so do not disconnect it until you will see successfully message now it's done now you can see that my device is getting the reboot now click on ok now the device is on again now simply set up your device and this time you will see no activation lock we have successfully skipped that and we are on the data and the privacy page now you can just simply set up your device in order to get on the home screen Now here we are on the home screen directly and you can see that we have successfully bypassed the iCloud activation lock screen on iOS 15 without jailbreak. So you can check that this method is completely untethered like if you reboot the device again it will not lock so it will work normally. So let me just show you. So now the device is on again. Let me try other things like iCloud login. So iCloud login is working. Now let's check out the other things. So Siri is also working. You can also use the app store for your apps. So you can download any apps from the app store. And this method it doesn't support SIM so your SIM card will not work. You can put your device into the flight mode and run as a Wi-Fi. So it will save your battery also. But other things will work. It's an untethered method. So you can try this method on the supported device like iPhone 6s to iPhone X and other iPad models like iPad mini 4, iPad Air 2, iPad 5th generation, 6th and 7th generation also with a new update. So you can follow the same process. So that's all for this video. If you like the content, just hit the like button. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more cool update. I will see you in the next video. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.